Welcome to Two Minutes to Target, and today we're coming to you from our case cleaning facility, otherwise known as our downstairs bathroom where my wife hasn't kicked me out of yet. And on this video, we're going to be comparing three case cleaning solutions and see which one comes out on top. One that's popular on the internet is a combination of distilled white vinegar, Dawn dishwashing soap, and table salt. And this is something that you can brew up at home on your own. Another one we're going to look at is Hornady One-Shot Case Cleaner. And then finally, we're going to look at Bortex Case Clean, which is my personal favorite. I've been using that for a little while. Also, people talk about using Citronox. I have used that as well. I found that to be very similar to the home brew of vinegar and Dawn. And we're going to start with the Bortec. I've already poured a couple overflowing capfuls in and just going to add some warm tap water. And you can use distilled water uh, to keep the cases a little bit cleaner, but I'm not really a fan of that. It's just an extra thing to keep around. After you've poured that in, you do have to make sure you get all the air out of the cases. So I just tip it, shake it a little bit, get the air bubbles out, and that makes sure the cleaner and, and the solution is all the way inside the case. Now we're going to set it to 480 seconds or 8 minutes, and then we're going to run each solution with 10 cases through 5 cycles and see which one comes out on top. Looking at the Bortec results, you can see that the primer pockets cleaned up exceptionally well. And this is the toughest thing to get clean on a case, so I really like that about the Bortec. Now the neck did not clean up as well, although what I have found is that it's loosened and you can just wipe this off. I use my finger here, but you can use a cloth and clean this on every case when you pull it out. So that does come out okay. Now when you look at the Hornady, the primer pockets did not clean up as well, but the case next did. It comes out really nice and shiny. And finally, let's look at the homebrew solution. And here you can see it's sort of a hybrid between the two. Case next, not as clean as Hornady. The primer pockets, not as clean as the Bortec. So it sort of sits in between the two. And let's run a Q-tip test on that vinegar one. And so you can see that if you jam that Q-tip in there, you're pulling out some carbon, turn it around, and there, you know even a second one is going to pull out some more carbon there. So as we, we saw in the images, it was still there. And if you look at the Hornady, uh, obviously a little bit more coming out there, and there's still more in the pocket. And I used to do this every single case, trying to get these primer pockets clean until I used Bortec. And you can see on this one that it comes out nice and clean. I mean, there's a teeny bit there but pretty much Bortec takes care of all that carbon in the primer pocket. And this is why I'm choosing Bortec as the winner between these three. I think you could run an interesting hybrid solution where you do some Bortec and then one shot, but that's gonna have to wait till later because we're out of time.